uh, my new photo lab download uh, from my website. So you'll be looking at a page that looks something similar to this with a photo of yours where you can scroll down and view any of the photos. Uh, you can do this by clicking on any of them and seeing them large where you can then flick through them by using these arrows or you can just scroll through and click on any of the ones you want. So when you're looking at an individual photo you can click download which will then download up. It will then download the file to your computer which you can then open or save or print or do anything with and you'll notice that when it downloads it to your computer um, oh, it's a bit big. it doesn't have the watermark or anything on there and that's the full size file as well not a reduced size you're seeing here. The other thing you can do is go through and create a list of favorites so when you hover over a photo you can click this love heart. The first thing it'll do is ask you to um, save your list so that you can uh, come back to this again in the future so you want to enter your email address and then you can go through and click on as many photos as you want that you are favorites and you'll notice up top here this number here is going up every time we favorite a photo then we can click this and it will just show us our favorites here which we can then either just go through and scroll through again like before or just download individually or what you can do is click this download button and enter your email address and the pin that you would have been sent and now you can either download the highlights which are all the photos or you can download your favorites so they're the ones that we just tag with the love hearts and then you can choose which size you want so web size is really small and that one does have the watermark high resolution is still pretty large that one doesn't have the watermark and original is the full size original file so if you're printing thank you cards or wanting to get photos printed for parents, etc. The original one's definitely the best. Um, high resolution is still really large and you could still use that for printing photos quite small, sort of um, 4x6, 6x9 sort of size. Um, and if you're showing them online, you can use web size, but again, that does have the watermark on them. So choose whatever you want. For this, we'll go web size and click start download. This will spin around for a few seconds, uh, depending on how many selections you've got. Um, if you've got quite a few in there, this could take quite a while, um, but you'll notice that you can close this page and you'll receive an email when the download is ready. So when you close this page, you'll get an email saying your download's ready. You'll click on the link, it'll send you back here, and then you can click this and download the zip file which contains all those photos. Um, the other thing you can do, if we just flip back, is when we first load all the photos that are here, rather than going through and choosing your favorites, is you can just click the download button then into your details and just choose um, the, the highlights will be the only option. If you haven't created any favorites, this option won't be here. You can just download all the photos in the original size and click start download and that'll create you a zip file of all the photos in the full resolution and this one would take quite a while to create. So I'd suggest closing this page. You can just literally close it now and you will receive an email when that zip file is ready for you to download and clicking on it, it'll download it super fast. Cool, so any questions at all about using uh, my image lab, just give me a call on 0800 246 And I knew there'd be one other thing, you can also share photos straight onto Facebook uh, by using the share option, uh, which will bring up something like this, where you can share a link, uh, but no one will be able to download the photos without that download pin that you would have been supplied with. But by giving people access to one photo, they can access all of them. So it might be easier if you want just to download all the photos and then share them on your own Facebook page as opposed to sharing a link to this album. Cool. Thanks very much.